Hi, Robert. Hi, how are you doing? I was taking a nap. <laughs> you could tell. No, I can't tell. How's everything? Uh, I think it's going great. What about you? Going great. Oh, good. Here's day six. Day six, day six. How Hi. are you doing? Great. What did you do today? What? What did you do today? Uh, working. You work in right? the office. Okay. I only work. Uh, so you went to the office. I make a a doc document. Read. Ah, uh, a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you finished the platform, right? Everything yep. good? You got the certificate? Yep. Okay, great job. Congrats. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you, uh, <laughs> yeah. So what do you have difficulties with? In, in, case, in case you feel like you have time to practice after class, do you have time to practice besides so the time we spend in class? I mean, don't. Sometimes, sometimes no. That's why when I get the chance, I try to work in the class of in a platform a lot as I can. Mm -hmm. As much as I can. Sometimes I can. As much as you as can. As far as I can. Okay. As much as I can. Yeah. All right. And what about you, JC? Uh, the, the, I work in the platform. I try to listen in English, uh, movies, series, uh, news. How do you say in English? Uh, noticieros. News. News. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or watch news. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I would try. Do you have problems with listening? Excuse me? Do you have issues with listening? Which? With your listening skills? Uh, uh, I try to develop more. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. So what we what? were talking last night, because some people say they need to work on their fluency, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I said I was going to show you how to work with that. In the platform. No, not only with the platform, no, but um. In your free time. Uh -huh, in your free time. Let me see. Let's, for example, oh, but this guy is really hard to imitate. Let me see. Hey, congrats! I saw you in the interview. You like the interview? I was nervous, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I can tell you were a little nervous. Oh, I know. <laughs> but, uh, you, you were fine. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's the first time somebody interviews me, so I was like, ah. Really? Yeah. But I think it went fine. For being the first time, it went fine. All right, look, so you're going to Google any, um, oh, I know, I know which one. No, we're probably gonna do this. We probably wanna work with this. All right, this lady we can try to imitate. Okay, so you turn, you look for any video, right? With American English, you put the subtitles on here. In English, here it is. All right, and then you play the video. You have to be pausing it if you want to, for example. Let's see, communication challenges. It's interesting, I always open the session and I... All right, then you try to imitate her after she speaks or as she speaks, if you can keep up the pace. Okay, interesting. I always open the session and I 
Okay, every sentence you pause and you repeat. I ask people, how many of you have ever had a miscommunication with another person? And how many of you have ever had a miscommunication with another person? Right, you try to imitate the intonation, the, the accent, the pronunciation okay. of the words, or you speak with her like this. Of course, everyone's hands go up. And I think some of the big things are, and I'll just list some of the barriers. One is emotions. People get emotional, whether it's you or the person you're trying to communicate with. And then once emotion comes in, objectivity flies out the window. So we talked a lot about dealing with emotions. You can repeat with her at the same time. Okay, if you can do that. But She's also, going fast. I know, but you have to try. Maybe the first time you won't get it. But the second time, and it helps your fluency a lot. You have no idea. In Spanish, I kind of speak slowly. In English too, right? So after I imitate somebody, I try. I tend to speak faster. <laughs> after I imitate somebody. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes I stutter with some word in Spanish, cause like <laughs> most since I study English. Mm -hmm. And I graduated from high school. Most of my uh, job, vocabulary is in English. My boss, yes, were, that so happens. Speaking speaking in Spanish, sometimes I started and like people make fun of me, like saying, "Ah, like <laughs> you were that American that started in Spanish." <laughs> okay, let me see if Karen. That's weird. Karen has never been absent. Okay, I'm gonna touch you know yeah no uh, it's all right I, it can happen in both languages guys i mean in imagine you're studying laws you become fluent in the in the vocabulary of laws right but if you don't study it sometimes you're not familiarized with it so it can be spanish any language and if you don't practice then you're not fluent this is something you have to work on every yeah, day exactly. yeah if you stop practicing then you start losing your fluency again. So something you have to do every day. So I was trying to show you guys how to how to practice speaking or become fluent by using any video on the internet. All right. You don't need to have somebody to practice with. You can do it with a video. Roberto, you want to show them? Which one do you want to try? Me pausing it and playing it or just letting her speak? <laughs> I'm gonna let her see. I would you try can just have the pace. Yeah. yeah. Right. Go ahead. Let's see. Communication challenges. It's interesting. I always open the session and I ask people, how many of you have ever had a miscommunication I, with another person? And of course, everyone's hands go up. And you can. <laughs> what happened, JC? You want to try? I got lost. <laughs> I tried, but. Uh, Reading. <laughs> Reading? No, okay, so you can pause it and play it. Just stay sentence. Right? Yeah, that's my problem. I, I, I try to read, but the, sub, the subtitles are kind of slow when uh -huh. they appear. Yeah, or that's you, why I, I. You can just turn them off. Turn them off and try to rely on your ear. Okay, so here's another oh, thing you can so. do. Okay, this is one. So you can use movies, videos, a series for this. You imitate them. And you don't need to repeat 100% of what they say. Okay, it can be a portion of it. It's, that's going to count as speaking for your brain, I was saying, right? Another one is uh, using this website. I think I sent it to somebody. I don't know if it was ESL Lab. So this is for listening and you have, look, you can practice listening, speaking, this website. We're gonna try an intermediate one. I think you're not doing badly. <laughs> right? Okay, here you can learn vocabulary as well. So I'm gonna send you this website if you wanna check it with me. We're gonna practice in a little bit, so don't worry. I'm just trying to show you the tools for this week that you're not gonna have classes. You should try to work on, on your fluency and everything else. All right, let's see um, a student credit card. Here, you're gonna learn important vocabulary. This is gonna take you five minutes a day, guys, so it's not a big deal. It doesn't take much time, so. 
and you learn these idioms. What's the meaning of though? Oh. For more for money. I had though money, right? Have money to burn. What's the meaning? What's the meaning? I have a lot of men. I have a lot of money. We don't hear you, Fatim. I ha have a lot of money to spend, right? Okay. Now, you yeah. have... Oh. All right, look, the answers are not literally what the person <laughs> says, so you need to infer, you need to pay attention for details and infer some answers. All right, so you can do this listening exercise. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. All right, but that's not what I want to show you. Go all the way to the bottom. Okay, and you have gap fill exercise. Okay. I'll send you this website in a little bit. So, who can catch the word? Listen. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. What did he say? Okay. Okay. Came, came over. over. Came over. So I would like you to write come over. So it's to go to someone's house, right? And drop off. I wanted to drop off these um I don't know, this food in these days, right? Hey, I came here to drop off some food. Yes. Hey wow. I have when and hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. What did you say? Where did you get all the stuff? Where did you get? Okay, then you try to imitate him. All right, because you have the the dialogue here. Let's say the first one. Listen, and everybody will repeat. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. Try to imitate the intonation as well because it infers meaning. You know, I was watching a video one day that said, Mi mamá me dijo que no sé qué, like the, the translator voice, you know? Mi mamá. So I didn't understand the joke. You know why? Because everything was flat. You need intonation to deliver a message, all right? So you need to try to... Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. I didn't understand the joke because of the intonation. And, hey, Wow. Where did you get all this stuff? Go ahead. Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. So what do you think? Go ahead. Yeah, I got lost there. <laughs> so, what do you think of my new entertainment service? Like that. Oh. And the widescreen TV. And the widescreen. And the widescreen TV. Ah, uh -huh, great, and great. The widescreen TV. Bought it. Bought it. Bought it. Bought it. Oh, you sound so much better. I love that. And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. And my, and new, my new DVD, DVD player. player. Yeah. Here, let, let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you... You, you can, can really, really rock, rock the house, house, really with, rock the house with this one. <laughs> get the dough to buy all this. But where did you get all this? But where did you get that? the job to buy Dough. all this? Dough is money. Remember, we learned it in, in the beginning of it. Yeah, we'll so where did you it. get all this dough? But, I, 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 but where did you get all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? You didn't borrow nah. money from mom and dad again, did you? Uh -huh, great. I will borrow money from that again, did you? Did you? Like, of course did you? not. <laughs> probably, of course not. <laughs> I got it with this. Of course not. I got it with this. Are you see? <laughs> of course not. Got it with I this. got it with this. Got it with this? Let me see that. <laughs> Have you been using dad's credit card again? Ah. 
Have you been using that credit card again? Have you been using that credit card again? That credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student no, credit card. Silly. No, silly. It's mine. No, silly. It's, it's mine. It's credit card. <laughs> Roberto is taking this very seriously. No, silly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, Robert. Yeah. A student credit card? How in the world did you get one of these? A student credit card? How in the, in the world did you get one of, these? one of these? I got an application in the mail. I got an application, I in, got the an application. I got an application in the mail. Well, why did you get one in the first place? Well, well why, why did you, did you get, get one in the first in the place? place? Listen, times are changing, and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things that you can't pay with cash. Oh, well, listen, listen. Having a credit card helps you, I don't know, control spending, control spending, spending. That was good. Okay, so every time you see a period, every time you see a period, you have to the intonation falls, right? And when you see a comma, Four. it goes up. Let me see. It helps you build. Comma. When you see a comma, it goes up. So listen. Time to spending <clears throat> and having a credit card helps you get a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things you can't. Na 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 ba. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last line. Like the plane ticket I got recently. What plane ticket? <laughs> like the plane ticket. Like the plane ticket I got recently. You even got a what? plane ticket I got recently. Okay. So do you think all oh, right guys, if you ask me, because I lived in the United States for almost two years, right? But Roberto lived there for longer than I and and, and Karen did too. So if you say Teacher, you kind of have a good accent or you might be fluent or something. I didn't learn in the United States, guys. I learned in El Salvador with, with a Salvadoran teacher, okay? And I learned to imitate, and that's why I speak like this. So when I went to the United States, um, I already spoke like this. You see what I'm saying? You don't need to go there to learn or to improve. You can do it from your home if that's you cool. use the tools, yes. Yeah, simply I simply imitated because the book that we used to use uh, made us repeat after every conversation. We did that every day, so that helped me a lot and a lot of us. A lot of uh, my classmates are now teachers, so we learned pretty well. So I would recommend this website. I'm going to send it to you so you can learn vocabulary. What do you think you can learn from this website if you use it? A lot. Vocabulary, intonation, idioms, creation, yeah. idioms and uh, you can practice your speaking. You don't need anybody. If you want to practice with somebody, well, go ahead, but this helps you. All right, so use movies as well, but try to keep up the pace. Because if you're pausing the movie, playing the movie, you're going to get bored. Watch the movie, but try at least 15 minutes of repeating without pausing the movie. Okay. And um, what else? Anything else? I wrote some things that I wanted to tell you. What else do you have to see coaches with? Okay, is there somebody who wants to work on pronunciation? No? Nobody? Noe, what's your weakness? What? Um, when I listen in, when uh, someone speak, uh, speaking fast, mm -hmm. I don't, uh, I, I, I um, have difficult to, to catch the, the, the ideas, the idea or what uh, they are saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in that case, you will have to do the multiple choice one. 
And you need to do this every day because otherwise your ear doesn't get trained. Okay, mm. it's yeah. a matter of yeah, practice. that's true. You need to train your ear. Yes, I I I stay trying to understand the the first or two words and the person eating in the <laughs> other thing. <laughs> Yeah, you need to practice your listening then. It's pretty common. Yes. Uh -huh. So that happens to me, Noe. I studied, <laughs> I studied for three years every day. And when I graduated, I went to work in a call center and I couldn't understand anything. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to work if I don't understand? Because my classmates, they practiced, they spoke on the street, they did everything. They watched series and I didn't do that. I'm talking about 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. So it's not the <laughs> case anymore. But I couldn't understand anything. You know, it was supposed to work. So don't wait until that happens. You know, I, mm -hmm. I tried to apply to a call center in here, mm -hmm. but my typing skills were not that great. So I couldn't typing. work there. Yes. Typing or writing? Typing. Like okay. in the computer. <laughs> you have to practice. I can send you a website too to practice. <laughs> you need no. to memorize the position they of your me, fingers. They told me, uh, we are going to give you three months to practice, then come back. But yeah. in that time, I, got, I found a job in the airport. So... I didn't practice. Yeah, that's not English related, but I can send you a website where you can practice. Okay. All right, we're gonna talk Isn't about- the typing skill something test? No, not only the test, but you have to take the lessons. Oh. Take lessons, because you need to learn the position of yeah, your fingers. I need that stuff. Yes, I'll, I'll send you that. Okay, I'm also gonna recommend you an app that you can use for pronunciation. So for example, you say a word and it gives you five stars if you pronounce it correctly. If you're making a mistake, it takes stars away. So you get one star or two. I'm gonna send you that so you can download it and try it. But the, the thing is guys, besides having cool. this class, yeah, it's really cool and it's for free. That's the best thing. So besides having this class, you need to do something else. Because as I'm saying, right, having three yeah. years of classes every day didn't help my listening. I should have practiced and I didn't do it. So when I was working, I almost cried because I couldn't understand anybody. <laughs> uh, you don't, you don't want to be in that situation. Okay, we're going to talk about first impressions. Do you have any other questions before we practice? No? No. 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 Okay, I'll send you the links to the, um, the chat and everything. And for example, uh, read the first question. Got it? Katya, you're on mute. Excuse me. Yeah. When you look at someone, what makes you think they are? Dangerous? Greedy? Greedy. Intelligent? Greedy? Yes. Intelligent, mm -hmm. kind, yeah. not smart, not smart, crazy, connected, generous. Uh huh. This is interesting. We're gonna discuss this as a group. Okay, not guys. So what makes you? Not dumb. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. What makes you think a person is dangerous, <laughs> guys? When you're walking on the street, how can you tell somebody's dangerous? Do you see a gun in him? You don't need to see the gun to think somebody's dangerous, Fatima. No, if if his face is look like me, um, a kind of mystery. I don't know. Like he's hiding something. He looks. Yes. Uh -huh. There are some people that walk with the eyes middle. Open, I don't know how to say. Like half open? Half open, yes. And, and looking for all, everywhere. Looking I don't everywhere. Like uh -huh. They look suspicious. Yes. Okay, what makes you think somebody is intelligent if you just met them? No, eh? Um, 
if they uh, if he or her is or carrying she. or she is carrying books <laughs> and uh, notebooks um okay what makes you think somebody is not smart jc i think jc is gonna be honest so i wanted to ask him <laughs> Tell us, JC, what makes you think somebody's not smart? Has a first impression. Not smart. Mm -hmm. mm. When, for example, when the person walk in the in the street, um, um, forget the. Anything? No, I don't forget know. something. For, forget something. <laughs> nah. Is there this many, part? many, <laughs> <laughs> many times. Okay. Uh, uh, what makes you think somebody's crazy? You know what makes me think somebody is not not even crazy, but there's something wrong with them when they don't when they don't blink. They're always like this. Yeah, right. They don't blink. Have you seen those people? Yeah, no. They're always with their eyes wide open <laughs> like this, and they never mm -hmm. blink. I think they're somewhat crazy. <laughs> yes. Or don't, or oh, don't do it in the in the normal frequency. Uh -huh. No, but there are people that are like that, and usually they're very intelligent. But I think that they they are into yeah. drugs or something sometimes. But they're very intelligent, but they don't it's they don't blink. Because they want to be so um, in it. I don't know. Uh -huh, how yeah, right. So involved. Yeah. And they don't even blink. Okay, we're going to discuss this in small groups. I'll be with you correcting mistakes or if telling you how to say something. And if you have questions, you can ask me, all right? So check WhatsApp. Let me see. Um, JC, you're going to be with Noe for, I'm sorry. Roberto, you're going to be with Noe for a while, okay? And then we're going to practice with different people. Accept the invitation and let's discuss. Okay, here we go. they are greedy greedy i don't know do you know the meaning of that word katya or jc no yes what greedy. is it, what it doesn't mean avaro oh mm -hmm. like mm. mr crab <laughs> <laughs> kind kind is somebody who is um nice to everybody mm. cool mm -hmm. like nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay cortez yeah. that's how you translate it i think generous yeah. greedy I, I, I think, for example, is uh, really. <laughs> I I think that someone is greedy. Um, when <clears throat> that person, well, it happened in at work. I think you when you or when people um make some i don't know party or uh, some meeting with sorry where you have to collaborate with money mm -hmm. and some people said no I, I don't want to participate so 
Oh, I don't they, have money. Yes. Oh, no, today I, I don't have, um, yes, I don't have money. I, can I give you tomorrow and tomorrow never come? So I think that maybe tomorrow. Yes. That kind of person are greedy. Yeah. Yeah. What did the 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 towels uh, the per the 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 season the the Christmas uh, Oliverio Cruz? Ah. It's a green. <laughs> yes, they don't want to to be in nothing. Uh, some people even um, don't like that. Um, the I don't know how to say party committee <laughs> of the uh, at the world put uh, balloons mm -hmm. and decorate his space. Some people don't like it. Ah, okay. So it's <laughs> they're weird. They, they don't want to collaborate for the other employees. That <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, how do you say que cumplen años. Uh, that they don't want they don't want to collaborate when uh, a colleague's birthday comes yes a or when there's a birthday a colleague's birthday comes yeah. mm -hmm. a colleague's birthday comes right okay the next one yeah. she was transferred to my apartment so <laughs> We had to 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 get a friend, and now we are very very good friends. <laughs> ah, that's good. I think my in my last job in the United States, like there was this new guy coming to work in my in the same area that I was working and like like at, at the moment I see I saw him I we I noticed like we didn't we like we wasn't going to get along. Uh -huh, we weren't and, going to get along. Yeah. And it happened like for the first month we didn't get along. And like after we knew, like we became friends. After we knew each other. Yeah, after we knew each other, we became friends. Awesome. We was, I think you said, right? <laughs> yeah. You was my brother. That's the way you sounded. <laughs> I do. <know. laughs> no. no, eh? Ask yes. him a question, Robert. I want to listen to Noe as well to give him some feedback. Another question? Okay, let me see. Because mm -hmm. I need to lock. No, that's your advantage, Roberto, okay. that you can use phrasal verbs, words that are most commonly used because you were there. I think your weakness is grammar. I, yeah, you know, it's really mm -hmm. You say it's not, but I think yeah. it is. I think it is. That's why it's good for you to be no. in this course to, to improve your grammar. Uh, I'm no, I Sorry? Uh, I can see you, uh, any, any bot of you. Really? Oh, because you're using yes. your stuff, I think. Only, only can hear you. Uh, you hear you both, but I can see you. We don't see you either. I see Roberto. Roberto, you see me, right? Yeah. Go back, the the app. Uh -huh. Go back to the app. Go back to the Zoom app. You're using your phone? Or laptop, no? No, I'm using phone. Ah, I can hear you. I can see you. Now you can? No, yes. But, like, we if, you, you. if you're using your phone and you need to go to WhatsApp, that's no, when I, you cannot see I, us. I see you now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see ah, you both okay. now. <laughs> Great. We don't see you though. I see you, but but you got the screen screenshot like the screen lock or no? How how you 
called that. Uh, but it it's screen. my profile image in the in the <laughs> room. I don't know what thing what's happening. I don't know. Ah. Yeah. There you uh, are. That's better. Going back. My gram I I I enrolled to this course to practice my grammar because yep. that is my weakness. Okay. Uh, Jose, Jose, Jose Roberto, and a, and a good advice for you, it could be uh, here uh, people in uh, London or, or British people because they, they speak very, very clear uh, using grammar. But did you, but what did you the... hear? If you hear uh, American people, it's very hard. But uh, British people, uh, um, no. Well, for me, because I I used to live in the United States, I know how they talk. But what I'm like talking with a, a Hindu guy or Hindu person are a lot difficult to understand them. Ah, yeah. no, that's common. You don't need to practice for that. <laughs> With people yeah. from India, Indian people, they're called Indian because Hindu is their the religion. Yeah, they're Indian. Indian yeah. people. Okay. Yeah. No, but studying the lessons, sometimes you need to know the rule because it's applicable for everything. So instead of trying to get word by word and expression by expression, if you learn the rule, you get everything. So yeah, you kind of have to study it. Okay, question for yeah. Noe, Robert? Question for Noe. Wait, I use, I'm using two different forms, sorry. Um, the next question was, is, have you met someone? No, I asked that already. When and where did you meet most of your friends? But no, we did already. When are the most important times to make a good First impression. Uh, when you uh, meet uh, for the first time a, a person, or when you meet a person uh, for some, the first time. Yes, or when someone uh, in, introduce uh, someone uh, to you. Yeah, that's true. Especially like for guys when it's a girl, you need to give a good first impression. Right. Yes. Questions, a new question. Uh, the same question. <laughs> where, the same where question. Where do you lay? What do you? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't like. Um, I Me prefer <laughs> hang out with people that I already know. Yes. I I prefer hang out with people already now. But in the in my job many times need to a new people. And when the years ago now we we are a, a good friends. We are good friends. Oh. We are good friends. Okay. When Great. and where did you meet most of your friends for the first time? When, when and where did you meet most? At the, at the university. No, no. I no, think no. when and where it was at where high school. Is. In high school. Mm -hmm. I I met the most of my friends. I met then. I met, sorry, the most of my friends then. Um we found again in the university. We met again we met again on the at in the university mm -hmm. so i i am a, a person with a few friends none i don't have a lot of a friends. lot of them. 
No. But I think that in um, high school, I make the, the best friend. Okay. Interesting. Sorry, hold on. You're going to practice with somebody different and give me one second. Okay. Guys, we're going to practice new questions with somebody different, okay? Let me reassign you. Hold on. Somebody I used to somebody. know. Somebody. Okay, Noe, you're going to be with a JC for a while. There in Fatima with Roberto. Okay, here you are. And did you see the new questions? Oh, oh, I didn't send them. All right, here's a new topic. It is aging. Aging. Yes. What is? You know the meaning of aging? Like envejecer. Ah. <laughs> the meaning, the meaning. You're saying? In okay. which question? What are you? There are new questions. Yes, new questions. Ah, new. Mm -hmm. Yes. The sec. Oh. You had them. Ah, okay, okay. Hey, are you going to be a teacher for pick event? I don't have any idea. Last time I told you I wasn't, because they told us, oh, you're yeah. going to be with your group for two months. That's what they said for two two modules, and then they assigned me to the same group. So it could be, but. <laughs> But most likely not. I don't know. No, tell them. The guys want me back. <laughs> Let me stay. I know. No, I don't have any control over them. I don't know why they decided to do it. Maybe some people requested it. I know in the other group they, they requested uh, to be with the same teacher. I, I want to request it. So every teacher has uh, their met methodology. Yes. Have you been with yeah. different teachers in the online um, strategy? Let's call it the. Uh, well, have Fatima, or is this when, your first time? I, I started in Intermediate 2. Mm -hmm. That I like your methodology. I I am more. I don't know. Um, a structure. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the methodology, methodology because. Uh, the last um, teacher, mm -hmm. she she talks. I don't know. She made a conversation. That was that was good, but you do the platform alone. So there there are some exercises that you don't understand, like the teacher uh, mm -hmm. teach that because. For example, there are um, a, a section in the um, in the exercise that I I it doesn't make sense for me. Mm -hmm. uh, like when you have to to recognize the the signs, okay, the gesture, gesture. I just say sad, um, happiness, but you use it means. Oh, you have to use it could mean it might it probably mean I didn't know that. Uh huh. So you you say that ah I got it I I understand the meaning of the exercise. So it's it's much better like this. To to focus on the platform and practice. Yes, not to explain the whole topic. You, you can understand all the exercise. Uh -huh, exactly. Well, I'm glad. Roberto, yeah. you were saying? When I started this course with you guys, I first started with Miss Bea, I think. I don't know. Her. I don't know if you know her. No. But like, she, but Miss I think I think she's Beatrice, but she likes it called Miss Bea. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I, that, I had it. I was enrolled between the hours from nine to ten, mm -hmm. but then my coworker told me like, ask if you can change from my class to from eight to nine. Mm -hmm. 
Who? Who so, was that? Jenny. Ah, Jenny, okay. And that's why I think in the middle of the course, I had, I changed it to eight, eight to nine. Okay. And that's, I, and that's the hour I've been getting the class from now. No. All right. So you had had experience before in the online. Yeah. Online methodology. I don't know how to call this. It's not a methodology. I want to find a word. Not even in Spanish, modalidad, right? Yeah, that's the word in Spanish. No. Like, what, try, what is this like, <laughs> sentence or the, or what are you trying to, what are you trying to say? In that, I think modalidad is the word in Spanish. The people have different. No, it's a different modality. I don't know if modality works. I have to think. All right, continue practicing. Sorry, I'm going to go check. Nice. I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the husband as the, 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 I don't know, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. okay. Continue you the next me, one. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Josie, uh, which celebrity how it's well for you? Uh, <laughs> not Madonna, <laughs> I think she's pretty old, but ah, how do you do? It's so hard for me to remember to the really name. But um, <laughs> that woman who is 40, okay, for example, J-Lo, she has aged well. J-Lo doesn't look old. Oh, wow, yes. Right, J-Lo? She's, she's in her 50s and she looks, she looks awesome. Uh-huh, exactly. She's one. And there's another woman, a Mexican one. Yes. <laughs> De la Guardia, something like that, I think it is. I'll show you later. What are, what are you, what do you think? Maribel de la Guardia, do you know who she is? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 